name's Dr. Chia here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a back handspring. So first of all I'm going to be showing you how to do the actual back handspring. Then I'm going to be showing you how to mask your back handspring and any tips like if you can't get it. And then I'm going to show you spotting positions. So... The first thing you need to know about doing your back handspring is how to go into it. There are two ways to do this, a step or a swing. This is the swing. You put your arms up in line with your shoulders, you swing them down past your knees and then drive them back up and jump into your back handspring. The, step, the second way is the step. So when you take your first step, you put your arms in line with your shoulders and as you take the second one, you swing behind your knees and then you jump up into your back handspring. So this is what it looks like without a step and this is what it looks like with a step. So obviously the first thing when doing your back handspring is to do your swing or your step. You then arch your back while you're doing the back while you're going to put your hands down and then you search for a place to put your hands down. You then pop off your hands and land in clean and pull your chest up. A good drill for popping off your hands is a handstand hop. So you go into a handstand, you do a little hop while you're in it and then you land. Another good drill is to do it off something high up, so I did it off my pond. You can also try doing it on a trampoline before you try it on the floor. If you're having trouble keeping your legs together when doing your back handspring, try tying your shoelaces together. It will help you keep your legs together. These are the spotting positions on the back and below the thigh. Obviously when doing any tumbling, safety always comes first, so I recommend that if you're not feeling that confident or you're not properly trained yet then you should try these steps under adult supervision or coach supervision or like a professional so that you don't get injured i would also recommend being in a gym environment or having mats if you haven't done this before because if you land badly, it could result in very serious injury.